Okay, this one's going to be the last one we're going to do on efficiency tests of using the smaller nozzle. And I will have conclusions and a summary in another short video. Settle back on 125 uh, on my uh, pressure. It's an old uh, pump. An old Sunstrom, they were really good pumps. However, I had one that I uh, started out using here and I ended up with uh, a blown seal. When I hit 165 pounds, I blew the seal on the pump. So some of these old pumps, you really can't expect that they're going to handle increasing the pressure uh, as high as I had it. This one looks like it's going to have to replace the pump with another one. But uh, this one looks like it's going to handle 100 and a quarter okay. You see, we're running about 100 and a quarter on it. Okay, we're going to try to do the combustion analysis in this thing. Okay, now let's uh, look at what we've got here. Uh, our stack temperatures are running about 440. The excess air is around 19, well. And that's about as good as you're gonna get for a furnace like this. These old boys were not all that great. Anyway, that's a efficiency by using a smaller nozzle size and increasing the pressure to get smaller um, droplet size. Now what we've got in this thing is a 0.480 degree A nozzle. That's a Delavan nozzle. And I'm down to 435, 436 uh, on our stack temperature. 3.6 in the O2, it's a bit low on the O2, and we're 19% excess air. Let's see what our efficiency is. Okay, we're running 84% on our efficiency. Let's see what we get for a smoke pass. Let's see if we're still cleaned up. Okay, I'm showing you the smoke. That's about a number four or five smoke. That's really bad. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this thing. See if we can get the smoke cleaned up. Okay, what we've got, we've got uh, 5.76 on our O2. 11.3 CO2, uh, 450 on the stack temperature, and 35% excess air. Now we'll go down and look at efficiency. We're running 82%. Really, that's about a, as good as I think we're going to do with this thing. I'm not too anxious to uh, increase that uh, pump pressure because I'll probably just blow the seal on another pump. Uh, my smoke is clean now. I'm at a zero smoke. And let's go over everything one more time. I'm about a hundred and a quarter on my pump pressure. I have 5.8% O2, which is about the middle of that uh, of the chart, 82% efficiency. My stack temperature is now 452, and we have 36% excess air. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's as good as it's going to get. But again, we don't have a high efficiency. We've got about as high as I think this furnace is going to go. So, 0.4 nozzle, 125 uh, pounds per square inch. Uh, 
which brings it up probably about to 0.5. I'll have to double check that. Uh, 80 degree a uh, spray pattern. And that's about as good as you're going to get for a furnace like this. These old boys were not all that great. Anyway, that's a efficiency by using a smaller nozzle size and increasing the pressure to get smaller um, droplet size. Okay, I'm going to do another video and I'm going to go over all the changes I made and kind of do a summary of what I found when I tried to reduce the nozzle and nozzle size and get better efficiency out of the oil furnace.